gospel voice, ladies and gentlemen. Another week, and I have a special, special guest here today. Um, I, I, I play for this church. Um, I get my spiritual insight from this man. And I would like to introduce you to this man. This is Pastor O'Neill Salmon, an evangelist, Georgia Salmon. Oh, my Lord. That, you guys, these people are God-given to me in my life. I had a chance to hear both of them speak, and it really touches you on your level. He is uh, God-filled, spiritual-filled. Uh, I, I even heard him speak in tongue, and you know that is big. That is big time, okay? Um, you are fairly a young church, two years now. Yes. Briefly tell us how your ministry got started. Well, uh, I would say that um, it was my family. Uh, my family heard from the Lord a couple years ago. Uh, I would say that ministry really started for us at an earlier age, uh, even prior to having children. My wife and I were both in the ministry uh, in some capacity, and God has, you know, was pulling us together. We were. My wife was originally from New York, and I was born and raised in Jamaica, but trans uh, transitioned into New York. And uh, by some venture, the Lord pulled us here to Florida, and now we're here. Uh, we've, I think, uh, cumulatively, we've been in ministry about 20 years or so. Praise about 20 God. years. So, wow. praise God. Uh, he has led us by way uh, of his direction. He, the word says, you know, he orders your steps. That's right. And so prior to taking any step, we just wait for an order. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you know, That's so right. thank God for that. Uh, we, together, I mentioned that we, it was four of us. Uh, we have two young boys. And uh, upon the time, we started in Apollo Beach, and we're now located in Brandon, Florida. So, oh, my Lord. Oh, God. my Lord. Yeah, and, and, and by the way, it's a husband wife thing. Yes. So yes. it's 24 yes. 7 enrichment. Amen. Amen. Right. You get to admonish each other 24 yes. 7. Oh, my Lord, that is awesome. I recently myself started playing for the church. And um, could you share with our audience how all that came about? I mean, it was a miraculous thing that happened. Yes. And uh, I think, let me have my wife do this one. <laughs> well, it just don't happen. Our children were going to the same preschool together. Mm -hmm. And it was around the holidays, and our little boy Timothy came home, and he said, Mommy, Mommy, this man came and was playing for us at school, and he was awesome. And he was just telling me the story just as a child remembered it. Amen. And I remember taking him to school just a few days after that and bumping into your beautiful wife, Julie. Uh -huh. We started talking. She told us about how God is using you, yes. and the communication went to the next level, and God did it. And the glory belongs to him. God yes. did it. Yes. Uh, I, I can truly say that uh, uh, when God gets the glory, we can't make no claim to it. That's right. That's right. And we already had it set because um, we were thinking prudently. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, just in case somebody may be there, um, you know, we'll pass out these cards and mm -hmm. they can get it to the right people. Well, out of all the cards that we passed out, they were the only two that didn't get the card. That's right. <laughs> that just yes. goes to show yes. you how God, he's a man, I ain't getting you none of this. Mm -hmm. This is for me. That's right. Yes. And he's totally awesome, totally up. Awesome. Now, you've been described as radical, anointed, humble, and cutting edge. What, what makes you all of these things? Uh. <laughs> Well, that's what uh, others say, but I, I think if any one of them I would identify myself most likely with would be that of being humble. Uh, I think by example, the life that we've lived, uh, the Lord has really brought us to a place where we're not just comfortable being who we are, we know who we are, uh, and that allows you to remain uh, at a level where in which you don't allow others to exalt you to the great capacity yeah. where in which it takes the glory away from mm. God. Mm. Uh, just being here today, for example, yeah. um, this being a humbling experience for us. Uh, again, thank you for allowing us to be here, but this in itself has been truly a blessing for us. Uh, when I look at uh, life, I look at it from the perspective, how can I influence change? So a lot of times by doing so, the Lord will allow you to minister on a level in which you cause uh, a provocation in some way where in which people's spirits are challenged to um, break out of the ordinary, mm. uh, to, to challenge even sometimes the status quo. Uh, not that the status quo isn't good enough, or tradition, some would say, quote unquote, isn't good enough, but 
if it's not getting you into your destiny, into the purpose, then you become sometimes radical mm. in that area. Mm. And that, that is easy for people to put that title on an individual who's living procuring you for the Father. Yes. You know, so that's, that's just yes. one of the things. Um, now, when I first came to this church, um, I passed by a lot of churches. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's amazing to me how many churches are available. There are a lot of churches. Um, but tell our viewers, our viewers where and when they can attend your church. Amen. Well, let me just say this. I said this to someone recently. I said, uh, even as a pastor, I, I love going to church. <laughs> I love going to our church primarily. Yes. Uh, not necessarily because I'm the pastor, but I truly believe God is free in the place. And the, the Word of God says where the Spirit of the Lord is, there right. is liberty. And if you can just sense that liberty while you drive to 902 West Robertson yeah. Street, <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, Florida, we would love to have you to come and as we can impart the Word of God into your life and as we get to know each other in fellowship. Our service times, uh, just to kind of give you an update on that, is uh, Sunday morning worship at 11 a.m. And we have prayer on Monday nights at 6 p.m. And then we go into a life application and youth session starting at 7 o'clock. And we have choir practice every Saturday. Saturday, yes. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, that is one of the type of programs that um, this church offers. Uh, yeah. My wife and I were blew, blown away when we walked in and saw that they were busy. This is not your average church. I mean, they are busy. Tell us about that, uh, the, the things you got going on. We got a lot going on. Um, we, we desire to not just be a church, a yeah. place of worship, but it's a church and a community center. Amen. So we're open every day of the week. Every Saturday, our restoration food and clothing pantry opens up from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. And we feed and clothe anyone in need. Yes. It's free of charge. And you know with the times that we're in and the way mm -hmm. the economy is going, yeah. you can have a six-figure job and tomorrow you need food oh, and clothes. Check it, mm -hmm. check it. So we're open to anyone in need. Um, we also have a great dynamic youth program yes. because our dear beloved pastor is so young in age. Yes. He's able to reach those older than him. Yes, yes. he's 30 years old. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> he's able to reach those older than him and the youth. And there's many teenagers that are on the street looking for a place where they can feel like they belong where you're not trying to change who they are, but really show them who they are. There you go. So we have a great youth program that's open to teenagers mm -hmm. of all ages. And that's just a few of the things we do. Also yes. our marriage enrichment course. Yes. yes. It's a great blessing to couples that want to enrich. And may I add, have. she can bring it. <laughs> she yes, can yes. bring it. Both of them brings it, but, yes. but uh, she has her style, and he has his style, and, it, it, and, I'm, and both of them stay within the word. Amen. See, you can go to a not, remember I told you in some of the shows, the hypothesis thing? They stay in the word. They Thank preach you. from the word, and they get my undivided attention. We would like for the pastors just to speak for us a little Amen. bit. Um, this is, uh, 